Uh, first day of checking traps, everyone. I've had three sprung, three sprung traps. Deer sprung them off. I got a big old coon in the Z trap. Dog proof trap, coon cuff. I like to call them coon cuffs. He's a big one too. That's a good catch on him too. Can't go nowhere. Oh, I'm going to get this big feller taken care of and I might have something else. Bye. Well, I got another coon this morning. Same one in the same spot as yesterday's. It's good size. Caught the same trap, the Z trap again. Alright, so that's coon number two, y'all. Please stay tuned. Uh, good morning, everyone. I got another coon on the coon cuff. Been a while since I had a hit. Caught a coon. He's a smaller one, but I'll take him. Beautiful. I caught him in a Z trap. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna get this fella out of here and get this trap remade and I'll get back to you. I'm setting this I'm setting this dog for a trap back here. Caught a coon. Nice little cub. Well, he ain't cub cub, but he's a smaller one, but he's good size. Call him in this coon cuff. The other day, I had a trap laying on the ground. The trap sprung off. <clears throat> and that one, that was two days ago. It's the 18th, and that was on the 16th. And uh, <clears throat> what it looks like here, I see he's been caught on his toes, on his left paw. And uh, and he might have just pulled out. I mean, I thought someone was stealing my, stealing my coons. I mean, that happened to me on this property here. But that coon could have just pulled out. He might have just been caught only by the toes. and I don't know. This coon right here. He's been caught by the toes before. And he pulled out. My guess, that was this coon the other day. Just pulling out. Not, not a good catch on him. So, what I caught the coon off of, I caught him off of dog food. And mixed with, also mixed with cat food with fish oil and there is some some leftover bait in the bottom here and I'm just gonna put some around put some dog and cat food around that trap and I'm gonna use this fish oil as an attractant as a trailing scent just put a little bit around the lid there then we're good I also want to show you what these dog fur traps do to these coon. I mean, they don't hurt. They don't hurt these animals. They don't bring blood or nothing to them. See, he was caught before, two days ago. What I what I can gather. From my trap being only sprung off and a big cat circle around it and right there just an indention is all it leaves y'all not a bad looking coon 
Yep. I'll see y'all on the next one. Hello everyone, I got trap set back um, the other day and in the rifle season. Got set back on Saturday. Today's Monday. December 5th, I think. Anyhow. I got this coon right here. In the same spot. This has been a great place. Ran all these vehicles. These buses. Hey, he's a good looking coon. I'll take him. Beautiful. We tore this area up. Of course, I caught uh, three other coon right here. It's been a great place. There's a trail right there. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. Well, I'm going to take care of old Mr. Raccoon and then I'll get back to you if I got anything else. And take care. Howdy, folks. Got a rainy Saturday morning here. Saturday, January 14th. Got a muddy raccoon. Got him in a Z trap. Oh. He's a decent little coon. I'll take him. Just tore, tore that set up. Caught him in a Z trap using that uh, um, uh, cat food and fish oil. Same place where I caught these other coons at. Here's the other trap over there where I caught the other ones. Yeah, same place, around these buses. And a bunch of scrap cars and whatnot. Well, I'll get back to y'all if I have anything else. Onward. Beautiful. Muddy coon. Oh, got another raccoon here at the edge of this little, this little puddle, this little puddle of water. It's not even a pond. No, I guess it's a pond, but just a little hole of water. That's all it is. Anyway, caught a coon in a Freedom Brand dog proof trap. There's the other one, right there. He didn't bother it. He just saw this one and came to it. Oh, set this trap alongside of this one rude. He's a nice little coon. Well, he's not really little. He's a decent sized coon. Pretty muddy. Talk to me, buddy. Beautiful. Well, that makes two coons today. Oh, well, I'm going to take care of this fella and might have something for y'all tomorrow. Alright, y'all have. A good day. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Thank you. Hey, folks. Just got done with this coon here. And 
there is some bad spots on his back and I don't know if I'm gonna trust this coon. I mean who knows it could be from fighting or this could be mange I'm not really sure I'm not gonna trust it though That's why we trap. We trap to maintain healthy animal populations and get the coon and get any animal take it take any animal out of the population that may have rabies, mange, disease, whatever the whatever it is. But I trap to maintain a healthy animal population. I'm not in this for the money. I mean, I have fun managing wildlife and everything. I did a good job here. I successfully took out a sick coon. I mean, that coon, who knows, he could have been suffering. And what well, basically he was from, from that, with that disease from that spot on his back. But, yeah, it's, it's raining out. And I just took out a sick coon. That looks like mange on its back. I've seen mange before. It, it's not pretty. That coon, he probably just starting out with it. There's some yellow shit on, on his back there. And uh, I don't know. But thanks for watching this video. I might have something for y'all tomorrow. Take care, y'all.